So how does Linus Tech Tips keep getting hacked? Recently, he had his Twitter account taken over by hackers that then promptly started promoting fake giveaways. How is somebody who's supposed to be at the cutting edge of technology so susceptible to basic phishing attempts? Is Linus really that stupid? Before we jump to that conclusion though, I want you to look at some of the emails that I've received in my official mailbox. As you can see, we have a security alert from Mailgun. This was roughly the time when I set up an email for a Malix newsletter. So a suspicious login and an activity review would make sense. And if I didn't look at the sender very carefully, I might have clicked on this review activity button and logged in giving the hackers my credentials. But wait a second, this is not the only email. Let's look at a few more. Here's a critical alert about a new login which is very similar again to the emails that Linus received. He has mentioned that there was a new login from a suspicious location in Russia. And so naturally he clicked on it, trying to secure his account. But of course that was the trick. There was no suspicious login, but when he clicked on the link and typed in his credentials to supposedly secure his account, he handed over his credentials to the hackers. And that is exactly what they're trying to do to me here. But this list continues. Here we have a sponsorship offer. Here we have an invitation to bid our cybersecurity services for an energy company. And the email even looks super legitimate until you actually copy this and try to visit it. And then you realize, oh shit, this email has just been recently registered. Up next, we have DJI, the drone company, sending me an offer to sponsor the channel and showcase their amazing drones. Now as the PC security channel, that seems a little off the top, but if you're Linus Tech Tips, this would be a perfectly legitimate opportunity and a needle in a haystack of hundreds of legitimate offers they receive from such companies. And that's just things I've received in recent times. If I were to have a complete collection, this would be hundreds, if not thousands of emails. So for those of you who are not targeted like me, like Linus, it might be difficult to understand, well, why did you fall for this phishing email? Didn't you go through the basic checklist of checking the addresses, understanding that people don't just offer you things for free? We know that, but we're also human. And when you're targeted at a human level, it is very difficult to avoid being hacked. I have received calendar invitations, just like a Zoom call, a Google Meet, where the link to join the meeting is actually a phishing page that looks very much like Google's official short links. How many of you check the URL that you click on to join a meeting when it's just a button? Or do you just click on the button that says join now? I'd wager most of you just click the button that says join now. And while it's easy to investigate these things and notice, oh, this email does not come from DJI and is probably not legitimate. This does not even look like a proper PR company or say, well, this doesn't really look like an official Mailgun support address, even though it says it is, or visiting a website like this to find out that uh, this legit sounding domain was actually just registered recently. We don't necessarily think like this all the time. That would be overwhelming. It would be hard to interact with the team, do business if you were paranoid about every single contact that you get, every single meeting link that somebody sends you. And that is how they hit and succeed at hacking big targets like Trump's campaign. So Iranian hackers managed to do this, APT42. You might be thinking, maybe Trump's campaign people are stupid. Maybe politicians don't understand technology or they have terrible InfoSec teams. That isn't always necessarily true. Like I said, when you're being targeted specifically, it is very challenging to avoid being hacked. And you might avoid the first, second, or third attempt, but there's gonna be something over the course of maybe six months to a year that finally gets you. And that's when you have an announcement like this. And as the article says, these hackers have deep expertise. This expertise does not necessarily mean that they use very sophisticated vulnerabilities, even knowing who to target with a simple phishing link or what kind of phishing link to send you or monitoring your behavior online to see, oh, you recently set up a newsletter. If we send you this particular phishing link at this time, you're likely going to fall for it. All of that is part of the hacker's mindset in what we call social engineering. And I think most people watching these videos 
don't have a full understanding of what it's like to be targeted. But unfortunately, that is what major political figures, organizations, and even YouTubers have to deal with today. It's a completely different landscape. We're not talking about people putting up random malware links or ads online, which also happens, but someone is monitoring you and trying to hack you specifically. They understand who you are. They know how you think and they're trying to get in your head. And I hope this video helps convey this new reality of existing in modern cyberspace. Please like and share this video if you found it educational or helpful to understand our perspective of how we perceive threats in cybersecurity. If this topic interests you, definitely subscribe to the PC Security channel. And now to our sponsor. This video is sponsored by Malwarebytes. They want to tell you about their brand new version of Malwarebytes Anti-Malware, which is now available with this brand new UI with a dark mode, a brand new identity protection feature, as well as a lot of advanced protection capabilities, including real-time protection, ransomware protection, and specific exploit blocking features. Personally, I really like the fact that they have an option to block penetration testing attacks. This takes care of a lot of sophisticated attack methods that hackers use to get into your computer. A lot of you may know it as a second opinion scanner, but now it does a lot more. It's a full security solution that replaces Windows Defender, completely uses its own engine. We have tested it in the past. We will be doing independent tests of it in the future. But in the meantime, you can check them out using the link in description. Thank you all so much for watching this video. And as always, stay informed, stay secure.